In our research laboratory at Nottingham Trent University in physics and mathematics, we are uh, involved with magnetic resonance imaging or MRI. And uh, at the time I was doing research with these machines, I got involved with uh, one of the last hurdles that, to overcome with these machines, which is the sound and vibrations they produce when you have an MRI scan done to you. So I studied the physics of uh, the propagation and the measurement of sound and vibrations in MRI scanner. And I soon translated this research in applying it to honeybee hives that you can see behind me. In order to monitor the vibrations taking place inside the colony, we use a specialized sensor called an accelerometer. It is a little cube of about a centimeter across, made of metal. And uh, we take uh, a colony, we open it, we take the central frame, we press the accelerometer into the honeycomb, and then we close the colony, we close the box, and monitoring the signal coming from the accelerometer, we get an insight into the world of vibrational communication that is taking place inside the colony, day and night, every day of the week, every week of the year. Once the accelerometer is in the honeycomb, we start picking up the vibrations. Some of them come from the buzzing of the bees, all the bees in the colony. Other vibrational signals we pick up are pulsed, and they come from one individual bee passing the vicinity of the sensor. It could be a signal coming from a worker bee, or it could be a pulsed signal coming from a queen bee, particularly in the springtime, in the swarming season, in April and May. Queen bees are producing very strong and long pulsed vibration. There are two types of queen bee pulsed vibrations. There's the tooting and the quacking. And when you witness them, you can't help yourself interpreting them as a duet between two queens. So for a long time, the belief was that these signals were communication taking place between two queens. And our publication from last year provides a strong evidence that these signals are actually communication taking place between the queens and the entire colony of worker bees. So in the coming years, we are hoping to exhaust the collection of pulsed vibration that we are capable of discriminating from our measurements of vibrations. We know that a lot of these signals take place in very specific circumstances. And by measuring the long-term statistics of the repertoire of different vibrational signals taking place on the honeycomb, we hope to provide the beekeeper a very specific insight into the activity that is taking place inside the colony.